Hi there, seventh grade scholars. Welcome to this review of compound sentences. Compound sentences are uh, made up of two independent clauses or more, two or more independent clauses. We'll be practicing two. And each independent clause will have a subject and a verb. There are three different ways that we can look at compound sentences. So little triggers that would help us recognize the compound sentences before we diagram them. So we're going to have independent clauses. That would mean that there's an independent clause on each side of this middle part that we're going to identify. So an independent clause that has a subject and a verb can be connected to another independent clause that has a subject and a verb by a semicolon. So it's like two sentences and there's just a semicolon in there because they're related. So typically those kinds of sentences are related. The next way that we can identify a, co a compound sentence uh, is from one of our fanboys, which we call coordinating conjunctions. So a way we remember coordinating conjunctions are fanboys. For and nor but or yet so. For and nor but or yet so. We call them fanboys. It's just one easy way to remember. So it's only going to be one of those after a comma. Those are our coordinating conjunctions. So independent clause, comma, one of the fanboys, coordinating conjunctions, for and nor but or yet so, and another independent clause. The last way that we can identify compound sentences is through um, an independent clause, a semicolon, and a conjunctive adverb with a comma and then another independent clause. Conjunctive adverbs are words like however and meanwhile. Um, consequently, uh, those are the main uh, conjunctive adverbs that you'll want to know. The thing about conjun conjunctive adverbs is that they are not conjunctions. They will not be diagrammed on a dotted line. They will be acting just like adverbs, and adverbs modify verbs, adjectives, or another adverb. So when you put them on the diagram, it's got to coordinate with the sent to the independent clause that it connects with, as well as um, diagramming it with with the verb, um, adjective, or another um, adverb. All right, so let's look at our first example right here, independent clause with a semicolon and another independent clause. So I've got a sentence right here for you. Sally is a nice person. She is my friend. Our big clue right here, oh, let's turn it this way. Our big clue right here is our semicolon. So Sally is a nice person. There's a sentence that stands on its own. It's an independent clause. It has a subject and it has a verb. It's a group of words with a complete thought. Um, Related to it, she is my friend, so it's connected by this semicolon. So let's find our subject and our verb pairs. So in our first independent clause, we're going to find a subject verb pair. In second independent clause, we're going to find our other subject verb pair. And some of you are way ahead of me already. Sally is who or what we're talking about. It's who we're talking about, Sally. So our subject is Sally, and what does she do? Oh, here's our linking verb. So we have a linking verb, meaning um, it's a state of being. Um, Sally is, here's our verb. That's also going to tip us off to that this will be diagrammed with, um, not with a direct object fence, but a ramp. So Sally is a nice person, semicolon. She is my friend. What, who or what are we talking about here? She, what is she doing? Is, there's our verb. So when we diagram this, start with what we know. Sally is, we have our subject and we have our verb. Sally is, what is she? A person. <laughs> what kind of person? Nice. Which one? Uh. So we've got all the words in here now. Now we have our semicolon. We don't diagram punctuation. And that's the cool thing with a semicolon. You don't even need to worry about it. We just connect the sentences like we do for compound sentences. Boop. And we don't need to worry about the semicolon. We just leave it. That also means we won't be writing any words here. There won't be any conjunctive adverbs to um, modify the verbs. So next subject, she is, what is she? She's friend. Let's make this a little bit darker. What kind of friend, or rather, whose friend? My friend. And there we have diagrammed. Um, a compound sentence with a semicolon connecting. Keep reviewing. You guys are awesome.